Hello world, welcome back to Subway 23 Let's Play of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, in the previous episode I was working on the ugly baby quest and it got to a point where I couldn't... Uh, one quest that I had been working on got cancelled out from under me and, and I was kind of sitting there a little upset because I just wanted to see which quest it was. And then the game crashed so it gave me the opportunity. So I'm on my way back to Skellige now. <laughs> to see if I can help Lambert with his issue. You ain't from that guard, I guess? What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. Keep prayers at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying. Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Mm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoot. You know the drill.
gods of the sea. I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer and let me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spin it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad tricks the wrong way? Blowing kills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman.
Alright people, I'm on a specific mission. Please don't interrupt me. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like foxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're... Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Ruben. Show us what you bring man. in. Back Ruben. there at Lockwood. Daft. It's me, Stefan. From the bits. You don't know me. Present what you've got. What you aim to bring into the city. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Celise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. Alright, let's pay Keratin a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? 
Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Your wife know who you were. We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him, we were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off! And I don't aim to die. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Wanna talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Back to Ugly Baby. So now, let me just go through my quest here? list real quick. I don't know that 
I really want to do this. So we're going to go back to Ugly Baby. And world map. In that last one, I had almost forgotten. That the guy was still in business doing slave trade work. I almost let him go, let Lambert hate me. the last time through. Wow, why, what's up with all the loading? I mean, I guess there's tons and tons of variables. It's storing... Put a cider for you, or a bit of dry curd. Me lad, it's not exactly burst him, but what he got, sure to please. Like to take a look. About? Uma, 
gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But then I'll bring your enlightened reign to an end. An abrupt and premature end. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Alright, let's go get my ugly baby. Last night that too. could be Siri. But I don't think so. I think... Well, I felt like maybe I was already in Act 3. I feel like the ugly baby will be the revelation I'm taking of Act 3. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shut. Yeah. Witcher version's different. Open the door. Now. seen all this so if you haven't I think it's the near the end of my, my previous episode come on I guess it's going straight to the the Nelf Guardian scene. Yeah. And now we're going to talk to the Emperor. The third army will sweep in from the west to take. If I may, your. Right, but it. We stand to lose. And we stand to lose less time. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, your majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leagues. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that... It's a difficult task, I know this. What I want. Listen to me. I... W you cannot expect me to pity you that... This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, 
made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast the fail Elen. Dandelion told me. Siri talked oh, to him about that's it. Probably the elf. No, I don't think about it. You provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other... Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Care Morin. Oh, and Geralt. Forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry. We'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Oh, this is gonna be so complicated if everyone's there. It's gonna come down to some battle between between Triss and Yennefer, I can only guess. journey. How was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure is pretty. all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt. I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? 
She teleports in. Not even a nice to see you. Jumps right into a we've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Triss always said she... Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. You mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's got to have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. 
It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys, well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. <laughs> you got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. A sage and not so sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt.
signal. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. Got a profound volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Siri, ashen hair on her cheek. Seen her? You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? <laughs> heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in balance. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Can't be far now. in these crates. Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. Potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. 
Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right. No time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? Gotta take care of something. Wait for me. Sure. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Kednell and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn et tenid, bondro isne iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Enzaver. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin.
Papers. Somebody's notes on the first page. Everything's ready at my end. No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. It doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Ben, thank you. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow, never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. That makes sense. Save that tail for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? It seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. 
easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Morded right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. 
Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old Spear Tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Ah! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? Ah! Ah! <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know... Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn eye. Almost always. Fine. Let's go. Vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the Falklands to take care of now. You're not going to let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course, the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy? Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough.
Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Wall looks a little shaky. Hard, maybe? Mm -hmm. And my gold stopped it like that. Relax, I slipped. Ah! What? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Ugh. Place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violence? Would have been nice. Soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. <sighs> oh, good to be back above ground. Mm hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Which us is to walk no more. The stops? East Mountain, the Mountain. Try Mountain. Huh? Oh. Hi! This troll mountain! Ah, uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say? Thing two do. Thing three do. Sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? Mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Which is this? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know the Witcher's castle. Locks not there. Let him rock. 
Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Throw rock, throw! Witches thief strike no back! Just talky talky! Witcher, good? Only you! Witcher is his monster kills! Trolls, monsters! Yes, true is! No face, mate! To go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. No way. Witcher without his sword? It'd be like losing an arm. Better arm lose than head. <laughs> Just a few steps more, and we're there. Oh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then air, then air? All right, phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather.
So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie. But I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel, and made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side-splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. <coughs> think it's that bad being a Witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. Alright. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Get back after you, sir. Okay, good. Must be Eskel's prince. Horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. Footprints. And hoofprints. A 
goat. Interesting. Rocks. Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, a stench. Mistake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher, Wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Try to limit myself to the sorceresses from now on. No doubt the most pleasant part. Though I'm not sure it ain't the most dangerous, too. Shh! Hear that? Incoming. Scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have it. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. 
And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silk. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gotta make a stand. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins! I could beat you riding a lame sow. <laughs> Good one. Underestimated you, or should I say Scorpion. One fast mount. And I overestimated you. If I'd known it'd be that easy, I'd have bet something on it. All right. Name your prize. Earned it. Hmm. Had this craving for my Hackerman spirit a while now. Nothing burns quite like it. Have a bottle for you next time we meet. Promise. Hold you to that.
Got you everything you need. Splendid. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion. I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn. With Uma? Whoever hides inside him. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Care Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt.